Hey Pisces, thank you so much for uh, coming to your love reading. Um, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Um, if you haven't already, please like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell if you want to receive alerts for when I post. And um, what we're going to talk about today is what's the overall energy for this uh, next two weeks. Um, what's your current situation? What's the cause of the situation? What are your hopes or fears, you know, with, with love and romance? And then ultimately the outcome card. So with that being said, Pisces, let's go ahead and hop into your reading. Okay. It's overall energy for the month for Pisces with love and romance. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Nothing will come of this situation. It's the void of course moon. <coughs> you know, honestly, uh, Pisces, I don't think I've seen this one. I don't think I've seen that. We're going to have to like really look and see what the heck's going on. Because that, that's kind of a darker card, okay? Um, what's the current situation for Pisces? Wow. Oh. Two of Wands, possibly dealing with an Aries, or you're possibly waiting to make some type of decision or some type of move. What's causing the situation, Pisces? Whoa. Strength card. Maybe you guys are dealing with a Leo, okay? What's Pisces' hopes and uh, hopes or fears with this um, love? The star card, okay? Maybe an Aquarius. What's the ultimate outcome for Pisces? What's the ultimate outcome for Pisces? Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit to, or of fun to shine. <clears throat> okay. For some reason, Pisces, I feel like there's a lot that's not being said between you and your person of interest. Um, if you guys uh, have had a relationship with a Leo in the past or somebody that made you very happy, I feel like things kind of came to like a crazy halt, okay? I definitely feel like there was definitely an ending here and something that I feel like kind of was hard for you especially with the sun card it's like it's something that made you happy and then it quickly turned into something that kind of just fell apart and it could be it fell apart um <clears throat> honestly overnight possibly you know out of nowhere and that's something i feel like you know you guys for the most part usually know about right before anybody but i don't think that that's something that you were you know you were expecting especially with that being you know um especially with that being the tower it's like you know it, it was change and it was change that came quick and it was change that you know maybe you necessarily weren't 100 percent ready for okay so <clears throat> with this card oh also too you have the sun and the tower off to the side you have strength in the star card so this is something about a major transformation that's going on for you guys also this is also a learning period for some reason and these are events that you just didn't have control over and you know um because they're mostly major arcana right and that's things that the universe kind of controls for us all right um now this card nothing will come of this matter it's almost like kind of like the seven of pentacles where like this situation will bear no fruit this may or may not be good news for you okay honestly especially when it comes to love and romance it's just really on depending on what you're asking for like if you're worried about something right if you're worried about talking to somebody or if you're worried about some type of situation this is a sign that, you know, there's nothing to worry about with your situation. However, if you're asking about something new or, you know, uh, maybe a new relationship that's coming in, um, it, it, it's just a sign to adjust your expectations or change things um, so that you get a different outcome. This card also, it, it, it only predicts, I feel like, you know, what you're currently creating. 
And you can change that with both your behavior and your actions, of course, and your beliefs. And this is about you guys trusting in your higher good. You know, the chances are something is definitely, you know, diminishing here, either with a partner or there's hope that's kind of like fading away. And it could be because there's just something that's better around the corner. But believe me that you're going to get exactly what you need. And it's time to kind of like surrender to the universe or surrender to the divine and take some time out and meditate and contemplate on exactly what you want and how you can achieve that. Okay. So that being said, you guys have you for your current situation. It's the two of wands. Why? What's, uh, what's, uh, hmm. What are they waiting for here? The seven of cups. Okay, so this makes sense to me. There's some type of decision that needs to be made. Either, you know, you're deciding between multiple people, uh, Pisces, and you have to choose one, but it's like the ball's in your court right now. Star card. It's like, who? what do you want? What are you wishing for? You know, what are your hopes? What are your fears? Um... And again, here's Pisces, Ten of Cups. It's like you really deciding what makes you happy and then ultimately going out and, and getting that. But when you're stuck in the Seven of Cups where there's too many options for you guys and you guys keep going back and forth because you don't know what to decide, it's like you never reach this Ten of Cups. I feel like that's why the situation is what it is. It's you have a choice. What makes Pisces happy? What makes them happy? You have choices. You need to pick one. And by picking one, you know, your, your hopes get fulfilled. This is also about, you know, you doing the right thing. You know, if you've done the right thing, Pisces, up to this point, you know, good things are going to happen for you. Because the Ten of Cups is also associated with, like, the North Node, which has to do with, like, um, karma. It has to do with fate. It's like you've done this, 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 and this, so you get this. You know what I'm saying? So as long as you've done things the right way, you know, even if you have had this tower moment in the past, it's telling you that either choice you choose is going to make you happy, but making that choice is what is important. Okay. Star card also, it's like, be real with yourself, you know, have an honest reflection, have, you know, the ability to, you know, um, liberate yourself be unpredictable. Liberate yourself from something that maybe, you know, is too rigid, okay? Why is strength the cause of the situation? The Six of Pentacles, okay? I feel like you're trying to be strong right now, uh, possibly dealing with a Leo, maybe a Taurus, um, or has like a Taurus moon, but it's like you're trying to take your time right now to figure out what's what you should invest in. I do feel like Pisces, you do have more than one person here. And I feel like you're trying to figure out who to give what to. I said, am I right? And it's the King of Pentacles, right? It's making a choice, a choice of a partner, possibly a uh, Capricorn, Virgo, a Taurus. It's like making, you know, who do you want to invest into? Who do you want to have, you know, that solid foundation with? How does Pisces feel about this? Page of Wands. Okay. I feel like you ultimately know, like, the action starts with you. You're the one that has to ignite this. Why? You're the one that has to ignite it because at right now, you're, you're, you're not Five of Wands. Like, this is Sagittarius energy, but I'm, I'm sorry, not Sagittarius. This is Leo energy. You could be at, at odds with a Leo right now, but you're definitely having some type of issue where communication has stopped. Maybe on your end, maybe you did something wrong or your partner did something wrong, and now you guys are not talking. You guys are fighting the urge to have that level of communication with one another. I feel like it's over pride, especially here with this strength card, but it's like... If you want to progress things, you have to be the one to take that chance. Yeah, or else you're going to stay in this hangman position, which is Pisces energy. You're going to stay in your head thinking about what this could be with this person. 
what happens if I would have, you know, made that move that I thought I should make? What happens here? Do I get my Ten of Cups, right? Or do I get the Tower card? Do I get the Five of Pentacles, okay, if I wait? <clears throat> I feel like you're always going to have this with this person. You're always going to ask yourself, what could have it been? What could have happened with me and this person? So your hopes are the star card with the queen of cups, okay? So maybe Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, maybe this is you. I feel like you're hoping for communication with this person. That's my guess. You're hoping for, for a level of communication, Sometimes I view the card, the star card as like a DM or a text message. Um, it's something coming in though that you see that you can replay like over and over and over again. And you know, that's clarified by the two of cups reversed, possibly Pisces. You guys were dealing with a uh, Pisces, Cancer or uh, Gemini. But I feel like with the two of cups reversed, that's you receiving a message from somebody that you that you love but maybe right now you guys are on the outskirts especially with the five of wands and the hangman am i right yeah you guys are not speaking right now you're very hurt about it there's something that progressed here that you're hurt about that comes with this two of cups you feel like you know what was happening between you guys, it's like there's no longer any growth. There's no longer any type of communication. You know, there was something done here that really, really kind of like caught you off guard because, you know, you were really trying to process the situation and make a decision. And then this person just made the decision for you. That's why I feel like you're hoping for a communication. What exactly do they want to hear from this person? What does Pisces want to hear from the person that... That three of swords them. Four of wands. Hey, like I still care about you. I, I still think of you as somebody that I want to marry. I still think of you as somebody that I want to build something with. You know, and with this solid foundation, it's like you want them to say that. You're hoping to hear this from this person. Because if, if this person reaches out to you and says this, then you don't have to be the one to make that first step with the page. Page of wands here. And then you know exactly how they feel. But the reality is, like, that's not fair. Because there's something here that's progressed, Pisces, where maybe things were not exactly what they were supposed to be. Maybe how you think you were coming off, that person didn't see that because, you know, everything was in your head. And maybe you thought you were expressing it, but because you were in your head, nothing was said. Okay? So outcome is playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit to of fun to shine. So I feel like Pisces, it's time to come out of this tower moment and come to a place where, you know, you're having more fun. Um, okay, Pisces. So um, I will see you guys in a few. All right. I'll talk to you later. Bye.